we were seeing very low unemployment rates, um, more jobs than people to fill jobs, specifically in the hospitality industry and healthcare. We kind of thought about some of the different avenues that might exist. Puerto Rico was one of those avenues. We traveled to Puerto Rico and met with some, some folks there. And they kind of shared what the process was. So we brought that information and that knowledge back to Branson. And that's been very, very helpful in kind of helping us guide our efforts and advise employers on um, what their next steps might be. Whether that's recruiting H2Bs, J1s, uh, those are the different visa programs that operate in our area. Um, we assist them if they are interested in recruiting folks from Puerto Rico, there's a legal process involved there. So we assist them with the paperwork and help them develop workforce strategies. Um, and then we also assist with some of the local recruitment, um, finding talent pipelines that will work specifically for that business and the different types of positions that they're looking for. So it's pretty comprehensive and again, it's, it's really fun and, and creative way to um, not only bring in people from outside to work in our community, but continue developing the workforce we have as well. With Puerto Rico program, we had a very successful first few trips, and we uh, have recruited probably over 400 Puerto Ricans to Branson since last April, which is really cool. Um, and then through the J-1 program, uh, we actually kind of provide some of that cultural exchange experience for the international college students coming in. We have about 750 international college students that come every summer to Branson and a few years ago we only had about 200 or 250 students so we're growing the program there too. It's really fun to like get all the students together you know have the employer support there and just kind of see the blend of cultures and different generations in the community. It's really cool to see.